rolling? Rolling. Dancing for the camera is almost um, an art form in itself. The camera can go places that audience members can't. The camera's up close, you can see the breath, you can see expression. The viewer can be brought into the dance. It's a much more intimate kind of viewing than we would experience um, on the proscenium stage. When you're dancing for an audience, they can only see it from a certain perspective, whereas from the camera, you can have it from a bird's eye, from you know, any angles you want, even down low, and that will actually kind of change the feel of it. The video is going to add another layer of meaning, another way into it. And I'm looking I, forward in the editing process to see what meaning emerges. Dance performance is a course held every term here, and the focus of the course changes every term, like what kind of performance we'll be looking at. And this term we're working on Dance for the Camera with Eric Nordstrom. Heidi invited me to collaborate to make a Dance for Camera. There's three of us in the class, and basically we're just learning to dance for the camera. Heidi and Eric actually showed us some, some examples and sometimes they focus really on the face or like the hand. Uh, this is a video that I made early on in studying dance and, and video. So I used to totally not like dance for the camera. Um, but then what hooked me is when I saw how the camera can go places that audience members can't. When you're watching a dance in a theater, you have one perspective, and that's from your seat. But with a dance for the camera, you can be a mile away from the dancer, you can be an inch away from them. You can be right above them, you can be at their feet. Also, we live in an age where, through Facebook, through YouTube, there's so many online platforms, so many delivery methods for video, that I think we're always asking how, um, how to keep dance relevant, how to keep it in front of viewers' eyes. And uh, video is a really accessible medium that we're used to seeing and used to interacting with. This class is different from other dance classes because uh, we actually we collaborate with Heidi and we, you know, we're coming up with our, mo our own movements. For some people, modern dance can be just like any movement can be considered dance. So like you could just be walking and that can be seen as a choreographed movement. You can have fun with it and you can do anything with it. As you're coming in to choreograph, it's a little bit like a painter starting. The canvas is completely blank. There's no, uh, no structure, no form, and it's really up to the choreographer to develop what that structure is. I was the choreographer, and the movement is actually a combination of things that the dancers created themselves, and then movement that I created and set on them. And let's take, yeah, the focus kind of out over this. Elbow. My movements are a lot focusing on what one part of the body does and how that leads to the rest. Like I have a couple movements where I'll like roll my shoulder and then the rest of my body will follow. Um, so it's a, it's a lot of that almost like you drop water and it like ripples out. My dance style is very graceful and big. There is a very wide range of things you can do and I can put my own personality in it. I was like, oh, I could do this. Oh, I could do that. You know, like, cause I, I'm, I like doing aerial type of things. I was able to do something that I love to do, which is just very up and down, in and out, like type of thing. With three dancers, we have three solos, several different duets, and then one trio. It really was about looking at what movement we thought would be interesting and had the potential to translate well to the camera. We're filming in a little theater that has a very small stage and um, even smaller potentials for kind of camera angles. So we really restricted ourselves um, to using a confined space and so there's a lot of kind of weaving in and out of the dancers and, and kind of this exploration of positive and negative space that they're creating with shapes um, among themselves. I love dance because I get to be whoever I want to be. I love to dance because um, it's my personal outlet. It's something fun, it keeps you active, it keeps you fit and healthy. I dance because it, um, it helps me understand who I am. It helps me connect to other people and understand who they are. I love dance because you get to be sort of free in your body and you can 
Focus on just what you're doing and let go of everything else that's going on. There's a moment, I think, like an instant that can happen where everything else fades away and I'm completely 100% present with the experience in that moment. And that's a beautiful thing. What I want to get out of it is doing um, the same idea of connecting to movement. Um, even though you're watching this, you have some sort of visceral, kinesthetic connection to what you're seeing. And hopefully through that, you know, spark a little bit of an interest in, uh, in dance.